and I just kind of, I just know, right? You know, you just know how it feels. So I know some of these things that are not working. I have already used my tailspin here, I think. Maybe. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, that combo was sick, though. I just made that up. Shit, I'm the best. What is up guys, it is me boy Kwis and we are back again with another video. You guys enjoy the ranked games, I enjoy doing them for you. So it's it's a lovely marriage between everything, right? Uh, this is what you want, I want to do it, we just keep it going. And uh, for this next one, I was actually planning on uh, playing another character for, for the next video I was going to do. Um, I was probably going to play Law or Steve. Because like I said earlier, I do want to work on those two more as uh, proper secondary characters. Because I kind of just played them for fun right now. There was a point Law was my actual secondary. Uh, he's the only other character I've like beaten top players with using in tournament. So uh, Law is like my go-to at the minute. But um, I received this comment on my last video from Chris. And I kind of just said, you know what? Fuck you, Chris. I was going to do it, but now that you've asked me in this manner, I ain't going to do it. Fuck you. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I was actually uh, planning that I don't mind when viewers ask for things and, you know, subscribers where they ask for things. I feel like as viewers of my content, you do have a right to ask for things you want to see. There is a way you have to ask for things, right? I wasn't a big fan of that. So you're getting another video of Huarang. And here we have a Steve, Steve. Now, Steve is uh, famously one of Huarang's worst matchups. Uh, that was nice. Um, famously one of Huarang's worst matchups. And I guess I can sort of explain why. Because some people just don't know um, when it comes down to these types of things. Um, so when it comes to Steve, you saw there, like the way he uses Sway there. Uh, that can be a lot of Huarang's options. It's an underused tool from um, from uh, Steve in the matchup. His sway beats a lot. Back one being such a terrifying move for Huarang. Because Huarang, uh, his high crushing is really bad. Uh, it's one of like the worst things of his kit. And he doesn't really have like a low he can go for. Besides like, you know, uh, down back three. To, you know, sort of circumvent that. So he kind of just has to hold things in this matchup. You're going to... Oh, it's always going to race right there. Yep. Um, I looked like it wasn't going to hit and I was about to praise Harada, but it didn't work. So it is what it is. Um, you know, down back three being his main high crushing low. Uh, that also, you know, becomes predictable after a while. Um, like Steve is just... See, I hate when that happens. So very recently, this is something that's been happening a lot. Well, it used to happen a lot and now it's happening more than it ever did. Is um, I'm walking back, like I'm trying to block and then I also want to jab. And then I get uh, I get back one. And it makes me look a lot more scrubby than I am. I'll take that. Now he wants to race drive me. So I'm not going to do anything. I'm literally not going to do anything. Until he just gave me that. Literally threw away that round. Um. Oh. I wonder if he knew that was an option select or he just mashed. Well, I low parried that. Oh, this is going to hurt. If I don't drop the combo because I'm shit. Fair enough. This guy, this guy probably has seen me play before. To go for that punch parry there. Like back two is my most used option. Um, I ducked. Uh, back two is my most used option. After... Um, which I'm gonna call it race drive. I nice stuck. See, that was very smart. 
because by parrying the back two on the first go that made me not want to um that made me not want to go mid again so he knew to duck there that was smart and he's also leaving oh, which is upsetting so on to the next that's just the matchup that's also personally very bad for me steve versus huarang um because of the way i like to play huarang i like to be very flashy I like to be, um, do all the cool shit and just like sort of just run people down with that. Uh, Steve is just so good at lo locking that down. So I myself just need to get better at like uh, changing my play style for this match. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this Yoshi is from the Middle East. So this is, it will probably say three bar in the bottom right. Yeah, it says three bar in the bottom right. I think I've played this guy quite a bit as well, and he he has a penchant for trolling, which is something I I hate dealing with, honestly. I kind of hate those people you run into in ranked who just like to troll and shit. Flash, you know, nice up. He just tried to sword sweep. But I I just hate having to deal with it. It's like. Uh, uh, just hurts my brain but he's a yoshi player so he's kind of what you gotta do with the character well not really you don't have to do it but spike here in the combo okay mm, i thought that'd work wake up off me Oh, that should have been back three, but I was in right foot forward. That's annoying. <laughs> this is why you got to know which stance you're in, kids. And yeah, waking up. Uh, the wake up launches are strong with this one. How did I know he'd flash and like have no answer for it? Like I knew he'd flash there. I think flash is actually a punish if he blocks that as well. Like if he blocks this move, I think he can flash punish it. Because minus 10, but I think you're left so close. Flash, uh, it's in range. Don't do anything. He went low. I knew it, sidewall. I fucking knew it. He tried to, he tried to a uh, parry. He tried to parry. So, so one thing people may not know is um, when you block the first two hits of Warren's Rage Drive, you can actually, some characters can parry the third hit. I do not believe Yoshi is one of them, as we just saw. I'm always thinking of my off-axis combos. Now I need to start, um, I need to start switching. <sighs> No dark because I'm bad. Uh, if we get wall, this is dead, but I don't think I will. Yeah, I won't even finish the combo. Ash. Oh, that's fine. What did he win? That became active a lot faster than I thought it would have done, and of course. I cannot wait for those netcode buffs because the thing is, like, as someone who's like played a, a great deal offline, I know what my whiff punishment looks like, and I just kind of, I just know, right? You know, you just know how it feels. So I know some of these things that are not working. I have already used my tailspin here, I think. Maybe. Oh no, yeah. Oh, that combo was sick, though. I just made that up. Shit, I'm the best. Oh. I swear that's like minus 12. It's not safe, is it? Someone let me know. 
to throw, to throw. When will it go? Uh, the Kane and Trench special. Just throw out the Rage Drive and call it calculated. Okay. Spike. CD1. I need your back to the wall. Can you do that for me, please? Thank you. That's a common thing people do there. That's It's a very bad thing to do at times, to be honest. Uh, just wake up and just start sidewalking on wake up. It's something people do so often, especially online. They kind of just expect it to work. Like they, they expect in theory, like you think it's the it's a good thing to do because it's like, oh, you know, you're trying to use movement and get around certain things. Right. But when people catch on to it, it becomes an awful option. Oh, that's not what I wanted. It's something I do very often as well. <laughs> so that's just the pot in the kettle black and I broke the regular throw. I think I mashed the... Oh, the tech rolling. I'll take that. I like to use the second race drive as much as I can because you rarely see it. And when you can get the wall carry with it, it's just. Mwah. Uh, the, I have no idea what that's only minus 12, the kangaroo kick. I have no idea. This is what I mean when I talk about trolley shit, man. I'll take that. Oh, he actually knows how to escape. That's just like I said, mentioned it earlier. I mentioned it earlier. I didn't even punish it. It doesn't matter how minus it is when you don't punish it. Um, I talked about that earlier when I get back one by accident. Wrong's down forward pause. It's a good, uh, it's a good move. I just wish it was slightly better. Oh, nice launch. Very nice, very nice launch for me. I'm good at this game. So good. I will go for jump over to maximize damage here. <clears throat> That's fine. It's not launch. Oh, I thought I stepped that. My Scarab is all over the place today. There we go. That was optimal as well. I always feel like I'm a second late blocking this uh this slide. <coughs> I'm sorry not this slide this week. <clears throat> My throat's uh moving kinda of mad. Oops. That was that was such I love using right foot forward down four forward to close ship because it just the impact. Alright, I think we'll make this the last one. How many have I played? I actually lose count of matches I played. Um it feels like it's been like ten. But it's probably been like one. <laughs> I really lose count of this shit, man.
Like for a three bar, it's not been too bad, but it's it's still a three bar at the end of the day. My CD, my CD three was just, I don't know. Oh, wishing to wake up Vash. Regular throw, I'm literally like, I don't know, maybe I missed. I see any explanation. I, I thought I hit the button. I've broken a billion throws in my life, but who knows? Oh, I hate dropping that ender there. Because at that point, you've already done the hard work. <laughs> you got the side set 3 3, like. Okay. I'm actually proud of myself for getting that prediction right and having an option for it. Oh, that was back three. <laughs> My misinputs are all over the place today. Ugh. Getting count hit must be like one of the the most annoying feelings in this game, you know? Hmm, I hate Yoshi Sword Sweep. I wish it was I wish it was parryable. Right? Is that too much to ask for? It's only low parryable. I mean you can't low parry you can't parry weapons, but I wish I don't know. Yeah, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have spring kick there. That was me being annoyed, while getting hit by the by the sword sweep, and then uh, taking out my frustrations in another way, and then uh, dying for it. Um. Set up. Ugh. All right, he's like so close to dead here. But I'm going to fuck this up because that's just who I am as a person. Shit, that wall carry. I low parried, but he's dead. GG. No re. Actually, no, he's dead. I have a lot of health, but he's dead. 100%. Oh my. See, when I say he's not dead and I knew it, I knew it. Why are you rage arting? Ugh, I knew it as well. I guess I have to do one more then because I can't just lose clip. I think that's one of my biggest problems as a player. Um, and it's something I, o I'm, I only really rectify in tournaments because in the tournaments I had this weekend, uh, it was when I really just, I, it was a, so one of my biggest problems ways I'm talking about is having a read, but not believing in it. That's like one of my biggest problems. Um, but if you watch the tournaments this weekend, I, Oh my god. How did that drop? Um, I just believed in every single read. If I thought a low was coming, just, just instant low parry. Instant low parry and I held it. My normally my problem is that I um I can think a low is coming, but I'll twitch it up. Or um I'll just time it wrong completely because I just I just have the read, but I don't really believe in it. So just like there, I knew he'd do it, but I guess because I was frustrated it didn't kill, I just I just went in and I died for it. Oh, oh this is this is bad. This is a bad position to be in. There we go. See what we're redeeming ourselves here. He just wasn't fast enough on the punish there. Oh. Sorry? Okay. 
Uh, he's just kind of like just pushing buttons now. Oh my god, the walls are not my friend today. Yeah. And there we go. We get to end it with the best rage drive in the game as well. I love it. I hope you guys love it too. I hope you guys love it enough to like, comment, and subscribe. So yeah, thank you guys for checking out this video. It's been great doing this with you guys. Um, I'm having lots of fun right now creating content and giving it to you guys. So we're on a high right now. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.